Good morning, it's Friday and let's hope it's a better day than yesterday. I haven't watched back yesterday's footage yet but I'm kind of dreading it because I don't think it's going to be a very uplifting day. Maybe I'll put a health warning on it before I publish it <laughs> so people know not to watch it if they feel the need to be uplifted. It's not very nice, it was sunny first thing but it's clouded over again but it's not raining so that's good and I am going to have a busy day. I could quite easily, when I woke up this morning, have slipped back into my doldrums of yesterday. It was either way it could have gone. But um, I've slept okay. I got up. I read a bit of my book, actually. I started the new book club book because I finished what I was reading before last night. So I started the new book club book, which is a big old book. I didn't realise how big it was. Um, and... I got up, shower, hair wash, dried my hair, put my makeup on, got dressed, made the bed, and here I am at half past eight. So, all is good. Today is going to be a good day. I'm going to alternate between, because my house is a bloody tip, I'm going to alternate between doing something in the office, a job in the office, and a job elsewhere. So, to start with, I'm going to do emails and 15 minutes of YouTube comments and then back to the house. And I'm the sun has come out. It's certainly not settled but it's nice and bright now so that's good. I've been pulling a bit of carrot and stick with myself this morning. I've just had some breakfast and cleaned the kitchen up and um, I'm going to list some bits and pieces on eBay. So I've told myself that if I do my eBay listings and then I get some laundry on and do some relists on eBay. I can watch yesterday's episode of The Real Housewives with a nice cup of coffee. So I reckon that'll take me about an hour. So it'll take me till about quarter past 11. So that's my plan for the next hour. But I might be preaching to the converted here. You might all know this already if you're Amazon Prime members, but a lot of people I think don't know it. So I thought it was worth mentioning that um, it's something called Amazon First Reads and you get a free Kindle book from a choice. You choose one from a choice of how many have I got here? Um, eight this month. Um, every month if you if you are a Amazon Prime member. Um, it's called Amazon First Reads. If you just Google Amazon First Reads it comes up and I think you have to register to get the email even if you are a Prime member. And these are the choices that I have for this month for May, you always get the email around the first of the month to choose your monthly free book. So I'm going to have a quick read of the descriptions and see which one I fancy. I'm tidying up my sauce cupboard. Yes, this is what life has come to. And how have I got three jars or three bottles of Nando's Peri Peri Marinade? I mean, we like it and we use it, but three bottles? Really? It's 20 past one. And I have to film a try-on video. Um, there's only four outfits, so it shouldn't take too long. But it all feels like a bit of an effort today. I don't know why. Probably because I've got to tidy up all this mess first. <laughs> Which I must do anyway, so I should stop procrastinating about it and get on with um, trying on, really. Yes, that's what I need to do. Right, that video is now filmed. Trying on clothes is hard work and talking about them. Harder work than you always think it's going to be. But I'm glad that's done. I'm going to transfer the footage onto the computer now. Must be two o'clock, I think. I haven't stopped for lunch yet. I probably need to go and find something to eat. It's ten to four. And I have just sold this leopard print slip dress for a hundred pounds. And it has a hole in the front as well. So that's nice, isn't it? Rather pleased about that. Um, the label has come unstuck that all on one side so I just need to go and put a stitch in it which I was going to do anyway before I filed it away but now I don't need to file it away just need to package it up so that was quite a nice little sale I'm pleased about that I paid £12.50 for it one thing I did want to just mention briefly today is that um, I get asked at least two or three times a week in my comments for or in messages as well for um, my eBay account information 
and um, I don't actually share it anymore. I have talked about why in the past, but I thought it was worth mentioning it again. Um, it's a couple of reasons, really. The first one is that as a business account holder on eBay, eBay put my full home address on every single eBay listing and it is not a good idea when you have a presence on the internet to advertise your home address. So it's just, as from that point of view, a safety security issue. I don't want to be sharing my full home address with countless people that I don't know who they are. Um, and the second reason is that I do keep eBay and YouTube very separate now. Although, not when I started out, but my channel evolved from the lifestyle sort of stuff that I started out with into a lot of eBay content. If you're interested in eBay content, but it's not particularly recent, but I have a playlist of over a hundred videos from when I was doing that sort of thing, which I will link up here for you. Um, if you're interested in watching some of those to see the sort of things that I sell, but they are from a while ago. And I went, I gradually, I got bored with doing the eBay videos, to be honest, and it, and it became something that didn't feel like very good business sense. I was sharing a lot about what things I bought, what I paid for them, what I was selling them for, um, tips and tricks and all that sort of thing. And it just began to feel as the reselling community became bigger that it wasn't maybe the best business sense to be doing that for me. This is just for me. I'm not saying that everybody shouldn't do that. Everybody should do whatever they like, you know, whatever people feel comfortable with. But just for me, it became something that didn't feel like particularly good business sense and that's another reason that I don't share it now um, in the wider sort of public domain. Um, but as I said, there are all those videos if you want to go back and revisit some of those to see the type of thing that I sell and um, yeah. Right, I'm going to sew this label back in and um, go and get a little fresh air I think. The sunshine is very windy out there, not as warm as it has been but I feel like I need some fresh air. It's just getting on for six o'clock. We have got our normal Zoom family chat at six o'clock. Will's just got his exam timetable. Yeah. He's just having a starter before his takeaway burger dinner of chocolate donut. Well, I haven't eaten much today, so I feel like it was sense. <laughs> Hopefully, go off and eat them too long. We're going to watch ourselves on the telly later. It was no, on today. He hates watching himself on the telly. Mm. <laughs> he really doesn't like it at all. Right, I'm going to set up the family Zoom. It's been a productive day today. Have you had a productive day? No. Not at all? No. Hope you're going to have a productive late night study session then. Almost definitely, yeah. He's got his exam time table. He's got a not good exam on the first day of exams. Mm. Well, I'll set the president quickly. I'll do that on that one. Yes. Also, we have 24 hours, so it should be easier than last time. You hope. Also, I, I think they'll make the that. questions more difficult myself. Right, time for family Zoom. I've had a couple of problems with my camera today. Not recognising my battery, so I've had to fiddle about with it. And I think I've sorted it now. Seems to be okay anyway, but I haven't. It's caused me to not film when I would have done because a couple of the times I've picked it up to film a clip sorry I'm out of breath because I've just run up the stairs <laughs> yeah a couple of the times I've picked it up to film a clip and it hasn't worked and then I've had to go and sort the battery out and stuff so I feel like today's vlog has been shorter than normal but that's not a problem I guess oh, it's nine o'clock and uh, we've had a nice evening, we did family Zoom chat. It's nice to catch up with everybody, my parents, my brother and his family, and have a chat and a laugh. Sorry, I'm just picking up stuff off the floor while I'm talking to you. Um, and then Ashley and I watched a bit of telly, and then Will and I went out to get takeaway from um, local gourmet burger place or posh burger place um which was actually really delicious i had a venison burger and we had dirty fries and onion rings and it was really good they've only just started doing 
collection they do collection it's like literally on the doorstep and it's all socially distanced and um they bring it out one at a time and you step forward and get out of the queue and get your order and it's all everybody's two meters apart and there's only four people it's all time slotted it's very well organized and um there's only four people in any one time slot so there's loads of room and yeah all very good and that was delicious so we had that then we watched another episode of Afterlife, which is just so good again. The second series of Afterlife, really enjoying that. And now it's bedtime. Is it nine o'clock? It's just after nine. But I've had a busy day. Productive, but busy. Not stressful. I've, I haven't rushed about like a mad woman, but I've got loads done, so that's nice. Oh, but I am tired. <laughs> tired. Oh. I don't think I'll be staying up late watching YouTube or reading tonight but I am looking forward to taking my makeup off, putting my comfies on, getting into bed and just chilling out a bit. Friday has been a good day, the 1st of May has been a good day. Looking forward to the weekend and yeah I will see you again in the morning. Hope everybody's had an okay week as good as it can be or a good week and I will see you again tomorrow morning. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.